Blame Truth here, and I hate that I even have to make this video. I had a completely different video planned about Black Ops 6 and the data. Uh, I had that planned today, but unfortunately, this is breaking. This is important. This is no laughing matter. I'm still going to throw in jokes in this video, but... This is a serious thing. I fear Black Ops 3 may be done. And I also fear it may actually be intentional. If you guys could, please like this video, comment on this, and make a stink about this on forums and whatnot, because I do not want to see Black Ops 3 especially go the way of the Dodo. Look, I I've seen Activision shut down H2M. I've seen them shut down SM2. I'm... I'm I'm sick of seeing them shut down things that the community has fun with because they think it'll hurt their bottom line, even if it's their own fucking game. And I fear that Black Ops 3 may be shut down, at the very least, uh, unfixed. I feel like this is intentional. I, I, look, man, I understand. I understand that sometimes I could sound a bit like a conspiracy theorist when it comes to this studio this publisher but think about how many times i've been right over the years think about how many times activision has literally done the scummiest fucking thing possible and realize that if anything i'm i'm downplaying the things i am talking about so what am i talking about as it pertains to black ops 3 after a quick word from this video's sponsor we will get right on into it Today's video is sponsored by Factor, and Factor's been sponsoring my channel for years now, and for good reason. I'm not just a messenger for them, I am a customer. I, I use them constantly whenever I am busy, or I'm just sick of cooking, or whatever. So, fast food, for example, just is not fast anymore. It's also really expensive. Uh, delivery services, also super expensive, even slower, and your food may be cold by the time it gets to your house. This is where Factor comes into play because they deliver fresh, never frozen meals directly to your door at a fraction of the price that you might pay going out to eat or going to a fast food restaurant. It's also quick and easy. You pop these things into the microwave for two to three minutes and you are good to go. And they have vegetarian options, high protein options options, low calorie options, and anything in between. On top of their delicious cold pressed juices, which I would recommend as the summer is coming to an end and I'm finishing up my yard work for the season, these are great refreshers after an hour long mowing session and uh, I can't recommend them enough. Head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code CODFATHER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code CODFATHER50 at Factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. All right, guys, welcome back to the video, and we are going to cover this from Gun of TZ. This is a buddy of mine who is a Black Ops 3, an old school Call of Duty just connoisseur. Like, he he is um, making something very special, which I will be covering when he finishes that. But regardless, he plays a lot of Black Ops 3. And uh, he posted this today, and I immediately took note of it, did my research, and I'm afraid that Black Ops 3 currently is unplayable. Wonderful. Matchmaking is now completely broken in Black Ops 3. First, the frame rate and stuttering issues that are still there two and a half years later on the main menu, multiplayer and zombies. Now you can't even join your friends' games to play some co-op zombies or private match in multiplayer. Awesome. Please fix Activision and he, you know, tags everybody related to the matter. I... I tweet at him and say, I'd bet money they aren't going to fix it, and I'd also bet some side cash it may even be intentional. He says, God, I'd hope not. The frames were never fixed, so I would not put it past them to not fix this now either. On top of that, we have this, trouble joining games. Hey guys, just wondering if anyone else is having trouble joining their friends. Nat type is compatible, but won't let me join. And we have all these people on the Steam discussion board for Black Ops 3, agreeing but wait it actually gets worse somehow 
Zombies is dead. Can't join my friend. This is never being fixed. And this person just says so true. How easily these people have given up. But that's what Activision's kind of taught them over the years. This person on Reddit says, is online custom zombies down? Been trying with my buddy for the past couple of days and all we get is lobby is enjoyable. Anyone else getting this? Did playing online for custom zombies die? Yes, been getting that too. Same here. I haven't gotten any good response from this subreddit yet either. From what I can tell, guys, Black Ops 3 is just dead. And you might think it's a conspiracy theory to say that Activision has done this intentionally. Let me remind you, let me remind you that they took down two fan-made non-profit mod projects in the last year and a half alone. And they didn't just take them down, they took them down within days, in the last one's case, hours before it was set to go live. Black Ops 3 is the quintessential modding platform for Call of Duty. It just is, especially for modded zombies content. How... How coincidental that it goes down and this happens a month out from Black Ops 6. In my last video where I talked about some rather conspiracy theory stuff about some bad actors maybe leaking some information out to some gaming journalists um, that may be related to Activision, people were saying, ah, oh, that's crazy, what are you talking about? The only thing fucking crazy is if you trust Activision at all. Today's video was gonna be radically different. I was gonna cover all oh, the data and how they have skewed it and lied and stretched the truth yet again, but here I am covering this, and if you don't think that this is intentional, I'm sorry, but you are fucking gullible. Let me just take you back, not even, what was it, a month ago now? H2M? Where you had to purchase Modern Warfare Remastered. You had to purchase Modern Warfare Remastered to even, like, play the mod. Uh, it was Modern Warfare 2, you had to purchase MWR, Activision wins, the community wins. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Well, Activision shut down that after everyone already bought MWR, so they couldn't really get refunds, first of all. But second of all, they cited the reason being that it would interfere with Black Ops 6 sales. I don't think you guys realize how desperate Activision actually is for Black Ops 6 to be a success, especially considering it's really pushing a Game Pass. We'll cover that in the next video, I, the video I meant to do today. The point is, though, is that they don't want anything interfering with Black Ops 6, even if it's their own motherfucking game. They want you to be starved of zombies content. They don't want you to play the nine-year-old game with the modded client with awesome community creations. They want you to just turn your fucking brain off, uh, you know, open your, your asshole and consume. Yeah, that's all they want you to do. Even if we mass report this on Steam and we report that, hey, Steam, we, we can't play Black Ops 3. I mean, you can't really play Black Ops 3 anyway. I'll get to that in a second. But, like, you can't play Black Ops 3. It's unplayable. Steam, do something about it. They'll just take sales for the game down, which Activision would also probably be pretty happy with because then the, you can't get, like, an official client. I mean, look how fast H2M died off because you can't get an official safe client. I didn't want to even bother with it because after the official, you know, you know, uh, dev-backed client is isn't like an official link anymore a lot of bad things can happen people always tell me if i don't like the new call of duties to go back and play the old ones but these fucking idiots these morons these paste eating window licking buffoons don't do a modicum of research to see that you cannot fucking do that activision kills their own creation year after year you can't go back and play old stuff without Security risk. I mean, look at this. This is directly from the forums back in January, the Steam forums, I mean, pertaining to Black Ops 3. I can't seem to find a clear answer in the discussions. Do I need to install something to prevent people from running malware on my computer and other such nonsense, or has that been completely fixed? I know they fixed it, but has that been bypassed by the cheaters? This person says, just playing online 
uh, on the regular isn't safe and never will be safe as it pertains to Black Ops 3. You have to use a custom fan client to be sure. Most of us either use T7 Custom Patch or BOIII Client. T7 Custom Patch is good if you want to just play regular BO3 or BO3 with friends for, with some improvements, but BOIII Client is a must-have to play on actual dedicated servers. It also comes with every fix for stuttering, exploits, etc. There's plenty of guides on getting it working. I personally use RxQE's guide as a stepping stone, and we had to use guides to, you know, get H2M working as well and, and safe to play, and the most people just don't want to deal with that. I mean, I don't want to deal with that and then still possibly be at risk for something nefarious to happen. I mean, I cannot go back and play the old Call of Duties. I don't know how to make it clear to these idiots, these, these modern Call of Duty consumers, that I cannot go back and play Black Ops 3. If I boot up Black Ops 3, a, a Russian man is going to hack into my PC and leave voice recordings about his sex life or something. Uh, I am not gay or anything, but, uh, my, my friend Pavlov, uh, I love resting my head on his, uh, burly chest hair. Not gay or anything, but Pavlov, uh, make Dmitry a little, uh, bi-curious. Not gay, not gay, but very, very bi-curious. Yeah, something like that. Like, I, I don't want that to happen. I don't want someone in Nigeria to take my credit card and try to scam someone on, on 90 Day Fiance or whatever. I, I don't want any of that. I, I want to just play the games, the old games, safely. These criminals, these literal criminals at Activision are still selling these games, no warning whatsoever. They do not care if you get hacked. They don't care if anyone hacks on the games. There are too many Call of Duty games currently for them to even remotely keep secure for one, but for two, they don't want these old games to be playable. They don't want these old games to be secure. They want you to forget these old games to the point where they gaslit us with their SBMM discussion about, here we go again, I gotta say it again, oh, the data. Uh, well, if, we, if we consult the data, we'll see that most people need to buy Black Ops 6 to have the uh, premium zombies experience. You just can't get it on Black Ops 3. Shut the fuck up and stop insulting my intelligence, you suit and tie piece of shit Muppets. I, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over the data. I'm over every single number or statistic they give us because I can go in and literally just prove it wrong. I mean, I, I literally can. I'm one guy, you know? <laughs> they think we're idiots, and maybe we are. I have seen this community, the Call of Duty community, just be such gullible sheep. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a part of it, too. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, saying I'm better than anyone in that regard. I'm just saying that I'm the only one with balls, as far as the content creators go, the only one with enough balls to call it out. Like, I'm sorry, but it's true. I don't care to get invited to COD Next. I don't want to work with Activision. I don't want their blood money. I'm not interested. Morally speaking, I'm not interested. I'm simply not. So, guys, let's get back to the main topic here, though. Black Ops 3 is in disarray, and I, I truly don't think they're going to fix it. I mean, I, I seriously think this is an inside job. Maybe I'm wrong. They will fix it, but I truly, truly don't think so. You know, coincidences, I, I mean, it, it, there's been a lot of coincidences lately. There's been Black Ops 6 dropping their trailer, I think it was days after X Defiant announced they would be coming out with their game. I've seen uh, that hit piece article about X Defiant shutting down or whatever a day before the Black Ops 6 beta drops. And now I see this, Black Ops 3 suddenly, out of nowhere, as of today, just goes dark. You know, the, the, the best Treyarch game in the past, let's be honest, decade, and it goes dark. The best game for modding, for, for playing modded zombies, all that stuff is just gone. If you think all three of those instances are a coincidence, I'm sorry. I, I have some snake oil I'd like to sell you out of the back of my 89 Honda Civic in the parking lot of a Denny's. You got to meet me there after dark, though, preferably after midnight. There may be a bum in the corner, a homeless guy uh, jerking his gherkin to us, but just ignore him and buy this snake oil. It's going to change your life, man. It's so much better than everything else you could buy out there with your money. It's just the premium snake oil experience. 
months, let me tell you. It'll cure all diseases, dude. Even zits, even acne. God knows a lot of these Call of Duty players need that. Anyway, guys. I don't want Black Ops 3 to die. You know, I'm making some jokes this video. I, I truly want Black Ops 3, especially the, the modded zombie content, to thrive. If you currently play Black Ops 3, it, it, you know, let me know in the comments section below, like, how this is affecting you personally. If you play modded zombies or have played modded zombies, you know, link me to stuff that the community has done. Um, I try not to do anything with like a modded client because if the main thing isn't safe doing workarounds and stuff, it's just too risky for me personally. So I got to be careful out there. But guys, um, I don't want Black Ops 3 to die. Please like make this uh, make us think about this. I, I want this to get picked up even by news sites. I don't want this game to just cease to exist. Black Ops 3 is one of my favorites of all time. I would love to actually see a proper security fix. Maybe if we make enough noise, they'll do that. And I will go back and play. I'd love to go back and play. The uh, OG multiplayer, even. I mean, dude, I, I don't know, man. I I'm I'm tired of this MO, this yearly release bullshit. I'm tired of Activision shutting down fan projects, even when they're on their own games. It's just it's just sickening, and, and we shouldn't stand for it. If you seriously are. I don't know, in support of Activision, and you're planning on buying BO6, I'd seriously reconsider from a moral standpoint. I, I really would. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm out of time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out. This is parting advice.